It looks like the end game has officially come for author Omid Scobie and Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and man, I do not think this was the reception that Team Sussex was hoping for. And the news is just unleashing on this duo and their lick spittle, and it's ugly, folks. Let's start right here, though, with the fact that, yes, Omid Scobie's book has now crashed out of the Amazon Top 100 list. I mean, you got to remember, this comes after the fact that she's already now had her aides horrified uh, over this explosive book. Now, as we reported yesterday, if you missed it, go check it out. She might be dropped by her talent agency, so please go check that out. And then, yeah, well-renowned author Valentin Lowe is already out there throwing shade at Omid Scobie. A uh, little like, well, I sold more books than you type of jab uh, as now Omid's trying to justify. Well, we made the New York Times bestseller list, so it's a success. Fun fact, in order to get to the New York Times bestseller list, you have to sell 5,000 books. That's it. You have to sell them in a brick and mortar store. Uh, there's a it's, a it's a weird sort of algorithm of its own and how it happens, but... You just got to buy 5,000 5, bucks. It's totally viable, by the way. And I wouldn't be surprised if certain publishers do that. Now, I'm not saying his publisher did it, but based on the numbers from Finding Freedom, this is a very disappointing number for Omid Scobie. So he can keep spinning it however he wants, uh, but it's it's well, well, well below Finding Freedom. And I, and I want to play this clip from Chibi News because it's pretty entertaining. They're going to give you a rundown of what's beating it, but I also want to give you this reaction from uh, you'll see. Shall we start? What do you want to start with, Carol? Oh, we're gonna we're we're gonna do a look at Omid Scobie's uh, new book. Oh, Endgame. Are we, are we, yeah. we're How well is that doing, Malone? I thought we were doing Rishi, but anyway. we're, we're he's just so excited. How is that? Let's hear. Let's hear how well it's doing. Get, and, and you'd think it'd be doing well, right? Given how he's been everywhere talking about this dumb thing. We it sold Rishi. just under six thousand five hundred okay. copies in Britain during Even your first book sold five days than that, on Malone. scale. My book this book. <laughs> Jeez. Quite a blizzard of publicity. Shh. <laughs> he's, he's, I think he's enjoying this. I don't think he likes Meghan and Harry. What do you guys think? And has plunged to 215 <laughs> on the Amazon bestsellers so, list. That's right. This is, this is just... Uh, for, is. Some con for context, some books that have vastly outsold Endgame. This <laughs> now this, I got to start and stop just to give my company. This is brilliant. Now we're going to go through some books. That have outsold. This Christmas, making it into the top 100, include... A Marvel spy demand search and find colouring book. I mean, that looks way better. <laughs> it was released last year. An air fryer well, cookbook. Oh. I'd rather wear, read that one too. Oh, I won't have a bad word said about air fryers. Whatever they are. And the dinosaur that pooped a reindeer. <laughs> I mean, I'm picking this up. Out of all of them, those other three books look way more interesting. Which is a festive lip the f lift the flap adventure. So... Omid Scobie not taking the publishing world by storm at the moment, Scarlett. What a surprise. Why Ouch. would anybody buy it? Yeah. I mean, it, 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 it appears, not that I have read it, but it appears that everything that's in it we already know. Yeah. Facts. Facts. Thank you, Scarlett. Uh, and Scarlett's about to really unleash. Thank you for this brilliant one, Scarlett. And whether it's true or not is another matter. So so for a start to buy it, you have to be on the Sussex's side, yeah. which I think in Britain is is very few people. But it's already been You're there. You're on the Sussex's side. I'm on nobody's side. I think... I think, <laughs> I think... I love this. She's pressured to really say, well, what do you think about these two? And watch her unleash. But, but they're, they're entitled rubbish. And frankly, if I was their PR advisor, I'd say, shut up and actually do something. Carol, it does advice. show, doesn't Hallelujah. it? This... Hallelujah! Oh my God, I love this, Scarlet. Fax, Fax, shut up and do something. Just as their own agency is saying, stop whining. Stop complaining. Stop moaning about everything. Wah, wah, wah. That's all they do. That's why I got the drop. <laughs> yes. Scarlet, tell him. Shut up. Enough. <laughs> there it goes. Let's hear a little bit more recaps. This book is meant to be a bit of a popularity. It's, it's a good test of how popular the Sussexes are. And all three of them, in fact. I mean, you know, this, the story, sadly for Scobie, became about him in the end. It became yeah. about his credibility, you know, which he doesn't have any. And 
who? <laughs> it became about what happened in Holland and him saying he hadn't sent this book it with the name. A lie. Well, we know that his, him or his agent sent that book. Up. Yeah. But he shamefully tried to blame the poor translator. He yeah. was one of the best in Holland. He tried to blame the publishers. So people have judged the whole thing on him. And, and you know, a scholar's just said, there's nothing new in this book. It's just a rehash of it. And funny enough, everything that's in the book is all Megan's pet peeves, all the things that yeah. really annoy her, which mm. is funny, isn't it? But where did she yeah how did he get all that oh i didn't i never talked to him i'm not her bestie i'm just going to always defend her speak to her aides get access and write whatever her aides give me but i'm not her bestie you know this is a judgment of him and it's interesting some of the books you read out what it's beaten all to now some of the books is it's the one called things to do while you poo on the loo <laughs> these are other books i found so scummy <laughs> Beating the Beano Annual, which I'm surprised at because the Beano Annual is really good. Yeah. Uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid and a Stigman, which is which is fine. This is exactly what he deserves. I didn't know you could still buy a Beano Annual. I'd love no, it for well, Christmas. That's what I think. Well, that's what you might get, Pierce, because it's cheap. Yeah. Oh, I get you that. Very good. Very good. <laughs> I just, do they still do the Beano Annual? They still do. But I, see, kids as a kid, today, I li every year that was a great treat. Well, it was. But did your did your kids when they were little Bev, know what Beano was? Well, my mum had kept ours from as a little boy. It was like the Scottish equivalent. UK, yep. Beano. Actually, I did. Of course I read Beano. And so, like was that, Carol, you, was that also... you, Malone? Were you barrel the parallel as a kid? I wasn't good as a kid. So, let me just steer yeah. this back to the news agenda, shall we? Okay, there we go. Well, I was gonna, there, but anyway, the, the, what, I, what I enjoyed the most was uh, Scarlet here telling him to shut up, but also that the dinosaur that pooped a reindeer uh, outsold him at Scobie's book. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder if uh, Omid will tweet about that one. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think he's going to put that one out there. I think he's a little embarrassed, but also embarrassed is Megan and Harry, because again, they've said nothing about this book. They've just let it sit. And I understand, like, I agree. They need to shut up and you don't need to stop whining. But if they had disowned Omid, it would have helped them distance themselves from this book. And instead, as we reported, Megan went out wearing King Charles's bracelet and all this other little, little things to show that she knows what's going on. And they are ignoring it just like the royals apparently ignored it when she was going through bad press. Uh, so it all comes to head and and uh, karma is a, is a bee. Enjoy it, Prince Harry. And yes, now if there was any reconciliation between them and the royal family, it seems to be out the window. Uh, this Christmas invite was now withdrawn before it was even issued after all of this. Um, King Charles apparently uh, w wanted to try to mend fences Megan and Harry's camp says they're the ones trying to mend fences. Whatever fences were going to be mended are now out the window due to this stupid book that they couldn't just condemn and disavow. I, it's it's really telling. Say what you want about the royals. Uh, and I know a lot of the audience watching doesn't like them, but this to me is again, and, and we've because of this reporting, because we've done it, thanks to Steph the Alterner, go subscribe. Our Popcorn Palace coverage, go subscribe to my second channel. Uh, all this cover because we actually are ingrained and we know it all and have been reporting about it all. The the cracks have become huge canyons, uh, and people are starting to really see what's really going on here. So they're in trouble. They, the the brand of the Sussex team is taking has taken so many hits, but this book did nothing to help it. Nothing. And yeah, her aides are horrified allegedly. Her agent is now frustrated, telling her to stop. Uh, they had all these exciting projects they talked about as she pushed, ran that carpet as they're like pushing her away. Like, okay, you're done. I love that little moment there because that's, that's, they're like, she's like, Hey, hi. Yes. No, now leave. Because, uh, I think it was, a uh, Margot Robbie or someone more important was walking in. Um, but, uh, and she was trying to get a picture with her. She's, she's so calculated in what she does on those carpets and everything else. And they're like, okay, Megan, bye. Uh, and she wants to be that level for what, what did you do? What did you do aside from Mary Prince Harry? You would have been a second rate actor on suits and you would have not gotten all the access and attention that you now get had you not married Prince Harry. And that's not the first person you married to try to you know, come on, Megan, let's keep it a buck. Uh, so what do you guys think of all this? Are you surprised? That, I mean, I, I'll be honest. I'm surprised it's this bad. Like this is bad. Uh, really, really, really bad. Uh, I was trying to find that. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, autobiography sold record. Uh, that was for Britney. Finding Freedom was released twenty four much better. There it is. When it was released, it sold thirty one thousand copies in its first week. 
31,000 copies for Finding Freedom, which then what you could say, okay, that was a hit. That legitimately did well. That made a lot of money. 6,000 copies for the first week as opposed to 31,000. That is a huge steep decline. That is a failure, Omid. You can say whatever you want. You can spin it however you want. Just because you made it just past the New York Times bestseller random number, which if you had to made that, that would have been embarrassing as hell. And I don't believe for a second the publisher wouldn't have paid off to buy some of those, just like I think Disney bought some Captain Marvel tickets back in the day. Uh, I would not be surprised if they didn't help that. What do you guys think? I want to hear what your thoughts are. Make sure you subscribe here and to Popcorn Palace and Steph the Alternate for all your royal tea and gossip. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more coverage. We got lots more coming here on Popcorn Planet as well.